Buenos nachos and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at this as is Xbox that we purchased off of eBay. Now, what makes this Xbox so special is that it has an executor chip. How do I know that, you ask? Because of this right here. So now it's listed as as is because I'm assuming the seller could not turn it on. So let's go ahead and plug it in and see what it's doing. Looks like it's fragging. And of course, nothing is appearing on screen. Now there are a couple of things that this could be without opening up the console. I'm probably gonna guess that the BIOS banks are not properly set for this executor chip. So one interesting thing to note is that I do not see the light turning on and we do have the switch set to enable. So there's a chance that something else could be going off this console. Before I dive too deep on the jumper settings, let's go ahead and open up the console and see what's going on. Yeah, it looks like someone has already been in this console because we only have two screws. Yep, only two screws. There's a nice couple of dust balls here. Nothing to get too excited about. And of course it looks like a couple of screws are missing. Well, there goes that. Uh, it looks like we do have an upgraded hard drive in here, so that's nice. Good old fashioned Western Digital 120 gigabytes. Pretty common back in the day. As for the condition of the innards of this console, it's not looking the greatest, I'll tell you that much. Not only do you have bulged CPU capacitors and leaking at that, you have that giant dust ball right there, which I'm assuming is uh, shaved off cat fur. And of course we have more leaky capacitors, that one right there, which completely exploded open. And of course the obligatory clock cap is leaking. And then we have these which have bursted open. So it's pretty safe to say that the standard five CPU cap replacement is not gonna cut it for this console. It's gonna need a full recapping. As for why the executor is not doing anything, it's because it's not plugged in. For some unknown reason, it is not connected. And it looks like this is an X2 3B Pro is a very nice chip for its time. We've reconnected the executor chip, so let's go ahead and see what that does for us. Interestingly enough, the power supply is not sizzling, so that's a good sign. At least that is not what's wrong with this console. We now have a green light on the executor chip and the console is booting up. I'm very surprised that this console is booting up considering the condition of the capacitors. Short of seeing a capacitor that has completely exploded and caused a burn on the console, I, this is probably the worst I've seen. Let's go ahead and reconnect the DVD drive and the hard drive. Everything is reconnected. Let's see what it does. Seems to be taking quite a while. Well, at the moment, it looks like there may be a problem with some of the files on the hard drive. So let's go ahead and try out a different hard drive. All right, we have our replacement hard drive in here. This is just a temporary setup. And there we have it. Looks like we booted up into Evo X. But does the DVD drive work? We'll go ahead and try it out with Halo 2. And of course the drive is not ejecting per se. So we're gonna have to help it along. I don't think this thing is set to auto boot. So let's go ahead and connect the controller. Ah, it looks like it has detected there's a game inserted. So let's go ahead and play it. Looks like Halo 2 is running. I'd say overall, this is a pretty good purchase from eBay. That was a pretty easy fix. All we needed to do was just reconnect the executor chip and swap out the hard drive. If you found this video helpful or useful, please remember to leave us a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Until next time.